Hey kids! We've been looking at the book of 1 Corinthians and this week we're up to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 12 to 34. Now as we know 1 Corinthians is a letter written by Paul to the church in a place called Corinth. And the church in Corinth well, they had gotten a lot of things wrong about following Jesus. And so Paul wrote this letter to remind them of the most important parts of the gospel. And he said in the beginning of chapter 15 that the most important part of the good news is that Jesus died on the cross and rose again to forgive our sins. And that he appeared to many, many, many people after he came back to life to prove that he really was alive. Now the word that the Bible uses to describe Jesus coming back to life again is resurrection. And resurrection simply means when a dead person comes back to life, never to die again. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, Paul says this about Jesus' resurrection. I'm going to read from verse 20. He says, But Christ truly has been raised from death, the first fruits of of those who are asleep in death. I wonder what Paul means by first fruits. What is he talking about when he says that Jesus' resurrection is like the first fruits for those who are dead? Hmm. Well, how about I tell you a story to help us figure this one out? Mary and Joe wanted to plant their very own carrot patch. Their dad thought it was a great idea, so he gave them a spot at the back of the garden to use. The first thing they did was to dig up the soil. They had to get rid of all the weeds and all the grass, and then they sprinkled some very smelly manure all over the soil. It smelt terrible, but their dad assured them that it would make sure that their carrots would grow and grow. Finally, it was time to plant the carrot seeds. The seeds were tiny and there were so many of them. They were sure to get lots and lots and lots of carrots with so many tiny seeds. So Joe and Mary carefully planted all the seeds. Then they covered the ground in hay to stop the weeds from growing. And every morning they'd come out to their carrot patch and water it. Sometimes, if it was very hot, they'd even water it in the evening as well. Now all they had to do was wait. They waited and waited and waited till finally one day they saw a green shoot. <gasps> Mary and Joe were so excited, their very first carrot. Their carrot grew and grew and grew. And when it was fully grown, they picked it. <gasps> it was a magnificent carrot, but Mary and Joe were confused. See, they had planted not one seed, but many seeds, but only one carrot had grown. Just then, their dad came to have a look at their carrots. And Mary and Joe told him how many seeds they'd planted, but how only one carrot had grown. Their dad smiled. He knelt down and carefully pulled away some of the hay. There, just under the hay, were hundreds and hundreds of tiny shoots. The carrot in their hand was the first carrot. It was a sign that there were more on the way. Mary and Joe were happy. Kids, Jesus died, but he didn't stay dead. He came back to life again, never to die again. Jesus' resurrection was the first and it was the sign that there is more to come. Paul tells us that Jesus dying on the cross and rising again is the most important part of the good news because it's the part that tells us that our sins have been forgiven and it guarantees that we will get to live with Jesus forever in heaven with brand new bodies just like his was. See kids, everyone who believes in Jesus, even if they die, they will be given a new life again. Like Jesus, we will rise again, never to die again. We will get brand new bodies that never get broken or sick or hungry or sad. Because because of Jesus, because he rose from the dead, we will rise from the dead. And of that, 
we can be absolutely certain. So how about we pray and thank Jesus that he rose from the dead and that that means that we will too. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for Jesus. Thank you that he died on the cross and that he rose again. And thank you that Jesus rising from the dead means that we can be super duper sure that we will rise from the dead as well. Thank you that you are going to give us brand new bodies that don't get sick or hurt or hungry or sad. And thank you that we'll get to enjoy these bodies with you forever. We're so excited. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. See you later.